Hey, what up, what up, what up, all my cultivators, all my retainers, man? It's Antonio checking back in. And I just want to make this video about how everything has a form of intercourse. And we can even go far as saying sexual intercourse. And the only reason why I say sexual is because I'm using it in the intimate context, not necessarily a penis or a vagina or a man and a woman. I'm just taking a turn deeper and going broader than what we really are always taught. And we always taught things on the surface standpoint. So when I say that everything is a form of intercourse because everything living has to produce or and reproduce. And in order to produce or reproduce some form of intimate activity has to be taking place. And when I say intimate, I'm not using intimate like, oh, male and a woman, because that's all we think of as intimate, but planting a seed in the ground and watering it, that's a form of intimacy to that plant. And then that's a form of intimacy and it's a form of intercourse. Because through that intercourse and you watering and nurturing that plant, it's going to grow. That seed is going to grow from your intercourse. So you get what I'm saying? Like, even if, even if you building something, that's a form of intercourse because you, you, you sitting there taking the time, intimately putting it together. And when I say intimately, I, like I said, I don't necessarily mean a man and a woman, how we always been taught. So when you think about it, you like, man, everything has a form. Excuse me. Everything has a form of uh, of intercourse. Man, I don't know if y'all can see this because it's dark, but man, I hope y'all can. But the sun shining so bright today. I just that just came across my mind, like, man, everything. Repro that reproduces has intercourse, man, and intercourse is powerful, especially an uh, intercourse between a male and a woman. Like it's like those two male energy, feminine energy combining, and it's it's amazing. That's why sex feels so good. That intercourse is those energies. And I'm pretty sure it feel good to the plants and everything when they feel themselves growing and sprouting and coming out the ground. And all these other animals, like, man, I'm pretty sure in they form of feeling good, it feels good. We may not never know how it feels, but it's a form of intercourse, man. And the orgasm is when it grows, when it sprouts. That's the orgasm. That's the, that's the, you feel what I'm saying? You see how I'm relating that? You see how... Everything starts to relate. Everything starts to connect on similar attention. You see how everything is connected. And I never thought about that like that before, but everything is a form, has a form of intercourse. Uh, and a form of intimacy. Because with love, everything does really thrive. And I ain't just saying that. I ain't like no love bug or nothing. I'm just saying, like, everything does thrive through love. Through a positive frequency. I'm talking about even from you text sending text messages, you, it's an intercourse with your fingers in that screen typing them numbers or letters and sending that message. That's a form of intercourse. Because you, you, you being involved. At least, that's how I'm taking it. I'm not going off intercourse as the definition that I've been taught. Because one thing about this sim retention and the journey that I'm on, you know, you just got to relearn and, and learn everything over. So everything, you got to understand that a lot of stuff that we've been taught has been a lot. But that's a different story. I was just thinking like, dang, everything has a form of intercourse and intimacy involved. I mean, you can go deep on it. Because you can be intimate in so many ways, not even dealing with a female, and I'm not even talking about nothing sexual. You can just be intimate with your exercises. You feel me? You can be intimate with, with whatever goals you have. So like you can be intimate in so many ways. You can be intimate with your food that you eat. 
and you feel me, you can have intercourse with your food. And when I say intercourse with your food, I'm not, this, that'd be mature. I'm not talking about having sex with your food. I'm talking, when I say have intercourse with your food, man, you getting involved with it. You physically getting involved with this food, digesting it into your body, and it's helping you, giving you energy. That's some form of intercourse because you you and this food have this bond. You feel me? The food going to look out for you. And you looking out for it because, shit, it, it, it going to sit here and rot. And that energy just going to go. So you need that just like it needs you. It's crazy how I'm thinking. I know you probably don't understand that, but that's just how I'm thinking. Like I said, this is my experience. And if don't nobody get this video, it's cool because I know it might go over a lot of people's heads. But I just had to get that out of my mind.